welcome back YouTube my channel has been brought back to YouTube thankfully as many of you probably have seen my channel has ceased to exist over the last month or so due to some unfortunate copyright mistakes that I made myself with uh, my logo um, that has now all been resolved and my previous videos that uh, contain that copyrighted material will be re-uploaded soon and I'll uh, title them as uh, re-uploaded material because it was about 15 videos that uh, I had to edit to uh, repost to have my channel reinstated so I'm officially back and I've got some important news to tell you first of all super glad to be back I was really upset about uh, my channel being deleted but thankfully uh, it all got worked out on good terms and now I'm back in business so uh, first of all one thing I want to mention I'm now a commercial pilot uh, back on uh, the first of August I took my commercial pilot check ride and now I'm officially a commercial pilot next step for my flying career is going to be getting my certified flight instructor certificate um, other than that I haven't been able to image lately uh, due to this whole summer I've just been super busy with all of that flying stuff and everything but uh, now I'm free I can I can chill out and relax for a while so now I'm back out here in the observatory ready to do some deep sky astrophotography unfortunately I have missed out on some of the key Milky Way targets um, but there's still some time it's mid-August right now so um, let's go ahead and get back to what we do best on this channel and that is some deep sky astrophotography follow along with me tonight and as always you're watching Astro Pilot What's going on, buddy? You gonna stay out here with me tonight? Yeah. Okay. So, as always, we are using the Stella Lyra 8-inch F5 Imaging Newtonian on the HEQ5 mount here in the observatory, controlled by the ASI Air Pro automatic focuser and the 2600 MC Pro. And tonight I'll probably be using the Optolong L Extreme filter. Let's go ahead and start up the rig tonight and get back imaging some deep sky objects. So let's go ahead and wait for it to get dark. I'm still not sure what I'm shooting yet, but uh, we'll shoot something. Um, sun is just setting now, so we're going to go ahead and get everything cooled down, set up, and we'll start imaging. What about it? What about it, buddy? All right, everybody. So. Here we are, back in the backyard. Ridley's there. We've got everything starting to uh, cool down. And uh, yeah, just wanted to say once again how glad I am to be back on YouTube after thinking I might not ever get my channel back. I was really, really, really concerned about that. So um, yeah, good stuff, good stuff. I'm just really happy to be back. And uh, soon I'll have all those videos back on YouTube and uh, for all y'all to see. So tonight, as I already mentioned, I am using the Stella Lyra 8-inch F5 Imaging Newtonian here with the ASI ZW, ZWO ASI 2600MC Pro with the ASCAR off-axis guider and a Optolong L Extreme filter. And tonight I'm probably gonna do Something in the Cygnus region, possibly, or uh, not sure yet. Not sure yet. It's going to be clear all night. Moon rises at around 12 or so. So we're going to make a night out of it and hopefully get a good image. All right, after looking around on the uh, ASI Air here, I think 
I'm deciding on shooting the Omega Nebula, also known as the Swan Nebula, in uh, the Sagittarius region of the Milky Way towards the south tonight, which uh, I don't believe I've ever shot before. So tonight, I think that's what we're going to do. So I got the mirror cooling down right now, got the camera turned on, starting to cool down. It's uh, about 7.30, so it should be getting dark here in the next 45 minutes or so. Back in action in the observatory. guys we have slewed to the star Altair and I just got focused up manually on Altair now we're gonna slew to our target M17 the Omega Nebula and we're gonna do an autofocus sequence and get our guiding going and start imaging all right guys so I've got my auto run sequence set up here and I've started to uh, set up my guiding calibration which you can see is starting to work there so we should have decent guiding here in just a couple of minutes and at that point we can shoot the Omega Nebula or the Swan Nebula whatever you want to call it really cool nebula should be a good picture I should be able to get a few hours on it tonight it's almost to the meridian right now so we'll see um, might switch over to something else later so yeah stay tuned Alrighty guys, so I'm up and running on the Omega Nebula right now. Just uh, started guiding, and uh, guiding is going well at a point around 0.7 right now. So here in just a couple minutes, I'll be able to show you my first frame on the Swan or Omega Nebula, M17. So uh, the camera's not focusing very well. So, yeah. So far, so good. It's about 75 degrees still out right now. Um, pretty warm. It's going to be really hot this week, up, upwards of around 100 degrees Fahrenheit. Uh, so it's going to be pretty clear all week up until Friday too. So uh, should get some good nights of astrophotography here soon. So um, let's go ahead and take a look at my first shot of the Omega Nebula. All right, everybody. My guiding is going pretty good right now at around 0.8 in these lower altitudes of the sky. Um, guiding tends to be a little worse due, just due to the worst seeing conditions lower to the horizon. Um, but overall really well. we got about 40 seconds left until the first exposure. Four minutes at ISO. <laughs> ISO. What am I thinking? Uh, one, four minute exposures at 100 gain with the Optolong L Extreme filter. So it should be pretty cool. About 25 seconds left. Go ahead and auto stretch it. And there we go. Wow. Look at that. That is pretty good. First time shooting this. And it looks really cool. Stars are nice and round. Guiding's going pretty good. There's a plane, I think, that went through the frame. But the Omega Nebula, an emission nebula located a few thousand light years away towards the center of the galaxy. Should be a cool final image. Alrighty, so there it is, guys. Alright, guys. I think I'm going to go ahead and wrap this video up. Super glad to be back on YouTube. Uh, thankfully, got everything resolved with the copyright issues, and I'm back. And I, I will be producing more content for Deep Sky Astrophotography soon, and re-uploading all my previous videos that had to be edited. So I am going to call it a night out here, go inside, and continue shooting on M17, the Swan Nebula, or the Omega Nebula, and see how this final image turns out. Um, I might also add a couple of the more images that I've taken in these last couple of months at the end of this video or I might just make separate videos. So we'll see how this image turns out and uh, see how the rest of the night goes. And as always, I want to thank you guys so much for all your support and uh, all your subscriptions, views, and comments. And I'm really glad to be back on YouTube 
and I hope you are too. So until next time, thank you for watching Astro Pilot and clear skies.